knowing that this would happen. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Sonic Academy with me, Chris, and Phil. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is a Sonic Academy Rewind, uh, where we look at a genre, uh, take a pick sort of four or five tracks, uh, look at the best bits, and then we go into a fast track build where we use the parts that we've built to make a track. Is that correct? Yeah, we've got a bunch of sort of techno tracks, um, sort of fairly recent ones, um, based on sort of darker Berlin, bit more yeah, banging sort type. of 5am style techno, yeah. what's uh, interesting. So we'll go through some of the tracks, pick out sort of what we think are interesting parts of it. And, and this rewind bit will be free and then we'll do the sort of full, we'll build some stuff um, in this part and then we'll head over to um, our subscribers area yeah. and uh, the rest of the course will be available to you guys and it'll be just a f the full arrangement and we'll try and aim for the 2R fast track build just build. to keep it sort of snappy it should be easy enough with sort of techno there's a, a bit less going on than I think once you get your like main, main section going you know you're kind of home and dry yeah so. I'm a, we'll be using um, sort of controllers a lot of, a lot of the tracks that we're listening to seems to be a, a, a quite an organic feel in terms of how effects are being used yeah. and it's sort of it's not just eight bars repeated over no. and over. You know, there's a lot of effects. So we'll probably set up some controllers, use some effects, and trigger stuff live. Yeah, to have sort of nice big reverbs happening. At maybe the do the entire arrangement live. What do you reckon? Uh, Whoa, okay, hold interesting. <laughs> he throws these things in at the last minute. The first track we're going to look at is a track called uh, by a guy called Taster Pete, and it's called Metro Sound or Metro Sexual. Metro Sexual, it is. So let's have a listen to it. <laughs> So we're going to be listening out for kick drum yeah. on each track. We're going to look, listen to the bass, hats, hats. There's a lot of atmosphere. What sort of atmosphere is happening? Uh -huh. um, and you know, if you've got your own techno tracks, this is what you should be doing if you're wanting to create your own. Is try and zone in on those specific areas yeah. to find out what they're doing, and you know, compare with your own own stuff. How soft is the kick? How hard is the kick? Um, what's the bass line doing? Is it sort of tuned to the kick? Is it in a different octave than the kick? Is it toms? Is it a synth? Yeah. You know, try and sort of zone your mind into these sort of areas. Um, listen to the groove. Is it has it got swing to it? Is it a straight groove? Yeah. Is there uh, is there groove on the hats, but the, the bass is straight? You know, is everything just and what's happening and and what sort of effects they're using? How they're mixing stuff as well. You know, is there a prominent uh, element to it and stuff? Uh, <coughs> the I think the one area we loved about this was the big scary sort of uh, effects. Tight percussion. Yeah, you know? no, that's tight percussion, given that groove. Yeah. There's just a bit of swing there, not a huge amount. Yeah. Lots of scary vocal Yeah, re reverse reverb pitch down. Uh, let's just flat on to the break, so we can have a listen to the breakdown. Uh, and and all these tracks have breaks. So we can hear the you can hear the bass line really clearly yeah. there. It's just subby, synthy, maybe a bit of toms in the low end. And reverse Gary vocals, you know, it's poltergeisty type. So we're gonna to listen now to the build up to when it kicks back in. I stop. There's just a little effect, like an LFOE type. Yeah, and then all that's really changing there is the kick and the and the hat that's coming back in, you yeah. know, a bit of percussion. That, that, there was a vocal thing there that was being delayed that was sort of continuing on like a feedback delay type. So the, the, uh, the next track we're going to look at is The Advent with Jason Fernandez and this is the Mark Broom version of a track called Get Up. Like instantly it, instantly a tougher sound and song, but the kick's actually a bit softer possibly. Right. So the, it's the bass line that's really driving that that home. It's very pulsy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, 
heavily compressed uh, hats. Mm. Real. Skippy, it's like a good swingy skip to those hats. And clap in it. And the the, the one thing we loved, I, I loved about this was there's is that uh, little percussion fill that happens every I think eight bars. Yeah, you thought it, you thought it sounded like. Timo Mas, his first track, uh, Der Schreiber, I think it is. So again, a dark sort of voice comes in the breakdown. This breakdown happens one minute in, so it's straight in for a minute and then break and then back out. It's, it's probably, yeah, only one of the tracks that has like that real open 909 hi-hat a lot of the other ones seem to use uh, shakers or just more subtle sort of hats this one's like really in your face and I think that ties in you know I don't know if that hat would work on one of the other tracks because of the way the bass line is because that bass line's just pulsing it's just all you know that the hi-hat lends itself to that where the other ones are more sort of the percussion is is, is on the off beats and stuff so you know that you don't need to emphasize the hat as much. Yeah. Again, vocals, delays, reverbs. You know. And there's this atmosphere. This MIDI sort of drone coming in now. Which could be like a, could be an affected vocal, or it could be something just with delay on it. No risers, no big white noise builds, no crashes, it's just in and out, you know, it's that cut, yeah. that real cut and paste. And that percussion element is now repeating constantly. Cool. Uh, the next track we're going to look at is uh, a track called Revolver. Uh, this is the Roberto Capanano remix, I think. So Tommy baseline. Yep. Tougher kick. You can listen compared to that last track, the hi hat, shakery sort of or sort of analogy hi hat that's not really overpowering. It's not yeah. Like a nine oh nine. It's a CR seventy eight, I think. Mm. So just a stab. Yeah, it could be either percussion, a percussion or like or a, a synth. distorted percussion. Yeah, it's there, there's a percussiony yeah, vibe I think to it. It's maybe a, you know, something like a tabla or tim timbale with filters on it. Sixteenths, given that sixteenth hats, given that driving element there. Again, we've got. Uh, scary vocal nothing much happening in, in the drop just sort of drop the kick out back in uh. just, a wee, just a wee clap on the off yeah I, so there's no clap on the downbeat but yeah it's on the so we'll jump to a breakdown You can clearly hear there that the bass line is just toms. Yeah. So very claustrophobic sound, you know, mm. it's real. I love that, that's that's real. And that, that 909 ride, like quite heavy in the mix. It's like... And pitched down, you know. It's but it's all, it's all compressed, side chain. Sort of sitting quite level in the mix. You're not really hearing the attack on the tink, you know, the, yeah, yeah. the start of it. It's all just sort of, Shh. yeah. It's almost like maybe like put through a bunch of delays just to get it sort of more slushy and sort yeah. of. Cool. The the next track we'll look at is another Jason Fernandez track. This is I Am Here, the Carrie Leke Bush mix. Again, 
heavy, heavy kick. Yeah. Quite quite a clicky kick. Yeah. You know? Sits sits out from the other tracks. It's, it's probably the only one with that style of kick where it's like. It's not subby. It's not no. either weird. It's kind of it's midi. Yeah. yeah. Classic shaker offbeat hat. Hear that sort of there's a low alien drone with a bit of air on it, yeah, just sort of running through it. And you can hear on the sort of organy stabs, you know, the delays are constantly They're evolving, changing, yeah, it's like it's like someone's modulating them live, yeah. Sixteen shakers coming in there, just uh, that just seems to be a prominent feature, you know, and you can just hear the skip, yeah, there's just it's there's not, a Hear the definite swing there. And what what swing is that? That's like a forty percent, something like that. That would be a sixteen B. Sixteen A, sixteen B. Yeah. A bit more prominent ride than the last one. Where you can you can define the attacks a yeah. bit better. You know, it's, it's a just slushy. It's just on the offbeat. Oh, and then bits of delay coming in there on that. Interesting um, time in there, so that you know stuff happened on the bar, and then you thought it was, that was it, and then something else happened. You know, so it's use of sort of surprise in the arrangement in terms of like you know you think it's kicked in, or you think something's happened, and then m- maybe something different happens a bar later. Or, you know, it's sort of playing with bars and yeah. The other thing, a big pr- feature is they build up the ride coming in, and then they'll drop the ride out, and they almost repeat that sections. So we're coming up to a break here. So this vocal hasn't really appeared much prior to this. No. Bang you up. Bang you up. And it, if you listen to the, the way it builds and then it crashes back in. So we had a a riser was yeah. happening there. Yeah. The delays and reverb on that vocal were, were coming up. Beating back. And then just before it kicked in, instead of it like building up the massive crescendo, it just sort of all fades away. Yeah, one or, one or two bars before, and then it gives it much more impact when it, it bangs in. Cool. Uh, the next track we're going to look at is another Fabio Floridio <coughs> track. This is called Hudson, and it uh, uses a, a vocal from... Like a astronaut type thing. It's quite a tough kick as well there. It's quite a lot of you know that upper mid click yep. sort of the thud and a, a very soft uh, clap and a soft shaker. But a lot of air in that atmosphere and that bass. What's happening in that bass? Is that just pure sub? Sounds like a. 16th rolling sub. I'll just flat on a bit. So, crispy hats. Really, yeah, shakery, tight. Hat, tight hat. A sort of white noise. There's your 909 offbeat coming in there. Okay. Using white noise to accentuate different elements of the rhythm. And again, pitch down sort of vocal. Alien atmosphere. It's an interesting, interesting synth sound there. It's like a sound would remind me of like a, a, an alien wheel. Yeah, to me it sounded like a pan pipe, you know, sort yeah. of like. Yeah, I imagine it's like a, you know, some sort of crazy massive underground alien creature that's like underwater and you're <laughs> but the other thing it's musically it just sort of it jars but yeah. it's in, a, in a really cool way Great. there's your wheel <laughs> the alien wheel
bit more of a regular sort of riser vibe there with a sweep and yeah again you know seven minute range under seven minutes uh not not tons going on but everything's evolving yeah i mean all these sort of they, they stick to the same theme there isn't like a change halfway through and it's just get the groove build the groove up you know manipulate it with effects bring stuff in and i a lot of, as well what i notice is stuff doesn't always build up and then a break happens you know stuff can build up and then it can just build back down again Absolutely, you know what yeah. I mean? and you know stuff will drop out and you know it doesn't necessarily always hap, hap, have to happen around a, a break you know it can go up and down and yeah yeah be a so bit you, more organic yeah so you can sort of have claps and then introduce a 16th shaker and then the right and then drop it down to just a hat off mm. hat and build that section up again and then break yeah and lots of uh sometimes lots of eight bar breaks and sometimes 16 mm. you know so uh well let's head on over to ableton now where yeah, philip good. is going to attempt to take some of the points that we've chatted about there and put them into practice yeah so we'll um first thing we'll do is probably kick is that correct? yeah get a kick in there so we have a bunch of uh techno presets but um we'll probably just sort of manipulate them a bit we'll just stick with the basic one and we can show you some manipulation um one of the things i like to do um at the start of making a kick is decide what key i'm going to be in um you want to try and as much as possible without getting too in all about it get things in tune yeah um so turn your snap on and kick and we can just we'll go for a g g seems to be a nice sort of tone um for bases for and bases subs and stuff and yeah if you wanted to go a bit lower you can go to an f but um around 50 hertz seems to be the magic number for yeah, they, they, I wish somebody had told me this ten years ago when I was trying to make stuff in D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the opposite end of the. Yeah, I was going. Why is this baseline not sort of solid? Well, I mean, I, I guess for for trance and stuff, maybe when you've got more witty baseline bases, you can get away you with can it. Get away with it, yeah. And uh, let's have a quick chat about how anal you are about. Uh, there's, your, there's your kick drum in D. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound a bit like El Nino, actually. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we, if we go to F, I think F is probably a bit too low. You can hear it just starting to crap out a little bit. Isn't yeah, it? you don't get the the tone that you would. That just resonates nicely. Yeah. You know, so we can play with this to get the softness or the toughness. Um, and we've no click actually loaded in at the minute. And slow down, but we have the volume down, um, and there's a bit of click coming off just the actual pitch envelope, and I'm gonna just get rid of that and just soften things up. Just to start with, and then we can play with our click. I'm gonna go for some of the Nicky Romero kicks. They sound nice for this type of stuff. His are just very tight. And we can go for, the good thing is you can sort of pitch them up. I think they're probably too clicky when they're up at uh, full pitch. So what are you pitching down or up? Pitching down, oh, yeah. yeah. And if you want your kick to sort of tail off with a bit more sub, you can um, do that. Let me see. So we want to keep a bit of the tone. And it's tailing off there with a bit more sub. And we can adjust that here just by playing with the... And then another handy feature, the, the, this Boeing preset and the pitch um, amount on the left is sort of set in the middle, so it gives you a bit of scope to be able to um, 
pitch things up and try different sort of frequencies. Can, the can I put a click there? Let me see where that click would be. It's probably it there. So that sounds about right there. back on the drive we can play with our EQ as well to sort of move certain frequencies so again we're moving a bit of that woodiness something around there we'll sort of tweak it as we go along it's, it's just a starting it's, you know you will adjust once you get toms in and yeah <coughs> other stuff going around um so just throw a drum rack in um and we'll create a sort of tom bass line and, and maybe a um a sort of synth one as well just to show you just the sort of two the techniques yeah. yeah um so cool ultimate drums main room house has probably the best toms of the pack Are you looking for something with a bit of tone to it? Yeah, something with tone or just a nice sort of general vibe to it. I mean, we'll uh. play with a few different ones. Don't really think I want any reverby ones necessarily. I think it'd be nice to get a filter them down. Some 808 or 909 type toms there. It's nice. It's a nice tom, yeah. Okay, so let's. Uh, just gonna take it round a half a bar. How anal do you get about tuning things? Um, I just want it to sound good. I'm not worried if it's actually in the exact key. You wouldn't get call up an analyzer and look at the fundamental frequency or anything like that. No, I would, I would be uh, with you on that. I just want to get it in the ballpark and roughly around the area. You know, I would suggest that the majority of people listen on very small speakers and can't really discern all the low rumbles. Yeah. sort of in the ballpark. Again, that sounds... I mean, again, <clears throat> you just, you know, I'm just moving it up and down and in my brain I'm going, does that sound nice? Does that sound nice? Does that sound nice? And yeah. you're, you're just getting closer to what oh, sounded nicer and then there'll be a sweet spot and you go, yeah, that's that's, that seems to... So, you know, whatever it is, something about it um, rings together with a thing or, you know, so it's, you know, you might find if you went in and analyzed it that, you know, up plus two is actually the note. The correct note. But, but it doesn't sound as good as when you have it. At yeah, minus that minus six. three might just give it that darker edge or something. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's about using your ears. I'm listening there and I'm going, well, uh, I like the weight of everything. Yeah. I'm not liking the tone not like in the tone of, of one of those toms so yep. it's just a bit ringy that one yeah so just filter um it's maybe 
a bit low. So it's on it's on minus seventeen. So if we want to shift that back up an octave, that would be minus five because it's plus twelve yeah. from minus. Yeah, I think I prefer it down low. It becomes very bouncy. Yeah. What I'm going to do is take that tom out and just go for a different one. And we'll uh, pitch this as well. You know that that you know to your ears probably sounds t too low. Like why why is your tom like you know almost two octaves yeah. low? But you know it it creates a darkness to uh -huh. the whole thing. You know there's almost atmosphere built into that that low tom that low tom yeah. So we'll add another note in somewhere. Let's. It's interesting that we're hanging on by our fingernails here with Ableton cutting out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't uh, totally crap out. So let's try and tune this. So instantly it's just too clicky, so I'm going to just filter and soften it. So we are at one two eight here, so we'll drop it down to one two six. So we're getting a nice roll there. Yep. Um, and we'll just use a bit of compression to tighten that up. So we're gonna just uh, because because everything's so subby, we don't want the kick sub overlapping with the 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 tom sub. So we're just doing a bit of technical sort of um side chaining. So we're not using side chain as an effect here. It's more just to, to actually. Sculpt, move things away from each other. Yeah, cool. Um, and you can hear there with lower sort of frequency stuff clicks. when they're when they're together. Yeah, you get clicks. So, um, you can just ease back on your attack. So there's a nice, um. Nice bass line. I'm gonna try something here. I'm just gonna resample the resample the toms just so we've got them in here. Now, what I want to try and do just uh, it just came to me like two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> this may, may, and we're gonna go with it. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. May completely not work. Just want to see what happens when I convert harmony to a MIDI track here. What sort of notes it gives me? So what notes Ableton is picking out? Yeah. Right. So let's uh, put a synth on that and see what what it comes up with. It may sound totally rubbish, but again, I think techno is about experimentation. It's about you know trying to find interesting Science, things or yeah. something that's interesting that's going to be happening. So we've got our this is going to sound rubbish with a saw. We'll uh, stick this on a sign. It's interesting, sort of. It does. It is sort of picking out something that's. You know, it's picking out something there that is sort of. In in tune or yeah. something around there is happening. Um, 
It's maybe not the right sort of grooves. So let's uh, sort of finely tune that a bit. We'll keep the notes. Try a different sound, get a bit, a tiny bit more uh, frequency happening in there. So, a bit more upper mid. Probably actually too much bass happening there. Uh, I'm sure if I stick an analyzer on, we'll just see far too much um, happening. So I'm just gonna ease off a bit on uh, on the bass on the toms. You can see that's all just mega subs. So we we want to obviously techno. There's a lot of bass in it, but it's controlled it's bass. It's controlled, yeah. Again on the kick, I'm just gonna. What sort of filter? Uh, you have a low cut on there. What's sort of? It's just. Uh, Do you have a dB per octave selection on that? Um, I think there's. I think it's probably just like a twelve or something. So that's just a bit more controlled. That <coughs> you just want that to be your ears to pick out the sort of groove with that sound, don't you? Yeah. And again, we'll stick on the side chain just to get it all to gel together. even soften this up with a bit of EQ as well. So what, what I'm hearing is very subtle things. There's nothing really harsh or prominent or aggressive. It's just how do you describe it? Bubbling under, you know, it's just this undercurrent. And there's a bit of air in the toms that I want to get rid of a wee bit. Sorry, there was a little bit of air in the toms I really liked to give it a you know, mm. sort of it's probably that upper tom. happy enough for that um, well what we'll do we'll uh, we'll wrap it up there for this video and then we'll sort of do some um, more shakers and percussion and stuff in the next video okay no problem